words. So it's the same, it's the same thing. <laughs> you know, like the, the dope who didn't think they were going to win and then they didn't write anything? I, I, didn't actually, I can't believe that all of these professionals who all have like little speeches and I didn't, I didn't really write a speech. I, I, I can't tell you, you know, my feelings of love and how grateful I am to the people who have this. And, and, and also, obviously, to Leslie Lohman, to uh, the Bray Art Gallery for, for doing this. I mean, it, it, it is a kind of dream of, of mine, and, and I, you know, in some kind of way, I feel like this is the kind of culmination of, of many things that I've always wanted to do in my life. So, and, and part of it is, is, is my love of artists and all that. So I, but I am so grateful uh, to, to the people that have, that, that have done this. I truly, I truly mean that. Um, I want to. I want to thank you, everybody who's been. Many people have been thanked, and I know our board has been thanked again and again. Hearing the same names, I want to. I want to bring in a few other names you haven't heard. Um, well, first of all, my my co-curators again. I want to thank Tyler Khan and Drew Sawyer. I want to really celebrate Daniel Marcus, who's one of the. Uh, the net talk about you know, the Daniel, Daniel, There's also Jordan Spencer who, who helped him in the fight. There's somebody that I adore. I love everybody at Les Alone. I've done many shows with them, but I, I have to celebrate Rob Rosen. Right, your last pride, and and it's that's <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for and I do have some. Let me just make oh also Anna Conlon who worked with me. Um, I don't is Anna here? I don't know that she made it here, but she she worked on the catalog. She wrote many of the labels. She gave me great advice. Fantastic person. Brandon Wallace, do it. No, Parnas, Kim Hampson, who I heard work late, to, like midnight on Sunday, working on the show, right? I want to thank him. Of course, Ray Park. Tomorrow I feel like, will, will we have time for the Ray Park hour to thank everyone? Is there, no, there's no time. Michelle Wong, Ali Mills, Allegra Villa, these people, uh, just the uh, Nelson Santos, and Atlas and Lohman. Um, I said Brendan Wallace, so I want to, and Jerry also, and obviously Gonzalo, you know, we just, just in minutes. Let me, let me, all right, so now I've, I've said all the wonderful things, and I have to say that, and, and how to vote, how, how, how great I am to these institutions, but I have to say something, because this is kind of the thing that, the, that Weinberg does, is I always say some things that maybe are a bit rude, which I have to say is that this, in a way, should be the place where this show should have been. And it should have been done by Columbus. It should have been at the Museum of Modern Art, and it should have been in the Whitney, right? <laughs> and um, so, and, and I don't know if the Mary is here, who is one of the people who have been fighting and putting on shows, and there's so many people, Sarandi, sir, there's so many people, we've been doing this for 30 years, fighting, fighting, fighting. And this is really one of the first shows like this in the whole 50-year period, right? It should be that way. It, I know that all you said that, that I was involved in making a queer canon. I don't want to make a queer canon. I want there to be 20,000 queer canons. I want there to be many, 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 many shows, not just one show. So finally, I'm going to Drew Sawyer talks a lot about my fantastic colleague who works on his show. But he talks about, in his wonderful essay from Art After Stonewall, which is available on Amazon, um, <laughs> the catalog. Also, let me thank the catalog. The catalog is great, it's only. But in that, in that book, it talks about two things. Drew really hits it, which is visibility, right? About but not just coming out, but one of, one of the things that I've been sort of fighting, I think, in, in my writing, and we're trying to talk about it, my writing for years and years, 
is the notion that a lot of times people think that gay or queer or LGBT card is a matter of repression, of hiding, right? And the idea of what an art historians are supposed to do is somehow discover the secret meaning. But if you look around here in this show, it's not about hiding. It's about showing you things. It's about seeing things. It's about visibility, right? So that's one of the things that has been sort of, I don't want to lie, but it's a kind of misunderstanding about the history of queer art. In some ways, the history of art itself. Because a lot of art historians, they take works of art, and they think that what they're supposed to do is show you what's hidden in them, rather than showing you, we're talking about what you actually are seeing in the work. This show is all about visibility, seeing, making you see things maybe that you don't want to see, but seeing things. And then the other thing that this show is so much about for me is about community, about coming together when there is something that, that is bad in the world and you fight it, you come together. Now you don't always come together, you know, it's not, that's, that's, it's not always a unit, right? As anybody who's part of these different movements knows, half the time people weren't speaking to each other, people were furious <laughs> with each other. There are all kinds of places, you're right, you're laughing, there are all kinds of places on the wall here where I'm thinking about, oh my God, those two people would not even speak to each other. Why are they on the wall together, right? But in the end, we did come together many times when people were sick, when people were needed each other. And that, I think, at this moment, when things are so terrible, that perhaps is the most inspiring thing that you're seeing. This is a kind of roadmap of resistance and how you keep people going through resistance. How do you not sort of just despair? And you do that through art. And uh, Tommy Leonard and Schmidt talked about that. He said that art was like a magnum. It was like a volcano. It keeps you going. So that's, that's sort of, to me, like the general message of the show. Finally, one last thing, which is that this show was made to be seen all at once, right? So keep that in mind. Come to Columbus, where you'll see it in one huge space, and you'll really see it saying... And in Miami. And in Miami. Also, it's going to Miami. You, should, you have to see the show many, many times. <laughs> So thank you again. I love I love you people, and that's what they always say. They have me words. I love you. <laughs> thank you again.